say who wants to start their project how would you, you help them in mm-hmm. getting started from like say even minting to promoting and i've, I've been watching yeah. like i lurk on your group <laughs> on your discord and, I, and your instagram so I'm, I'm not the most active commenter i just watch <laughs> watch and observe how would you help them from the ground up and like, to promoting like building the audience and to all the way to selling their first nft yeah so are you talking about like just dan- dance specifically dance nfts yeah let's go let's and like how we do it yeah yeah, yeah. so at groove time what we're building on the back end is a mobile app. So it's going to be like an iPhone app that lets you pretty much mint and sell. And hopefully it'll be user friendly Um, (laughs) and and it'll help dancers pretty much create a profile and sell their work on our app. Since we're building the app, a lot of what we're doing now is very manual. Mm -hmm. So we pretty much are, chatting with creators if creators have a video already which actually not many creators are actually ready with 100% video they're usually lacking because with nfts you cannot use copyrighted music and you should not use copyrighted music because if you're selling work that uses copyrighted music and you have not gotten the approval to use that these labels these artists can pretty much sue you because it's like directly copyright infringement because Mm. you're selling something with their work Mm. which is different from just like posting on Instagram because you're not really selling anything on Instagram quite, you know, directly. Yeah. You're just showing like class video or whatever. Yeah. But anyway, so one thing that dancers usually have a struggle with is music. So we help to pair and find producers that could work with the artist in which then if profits come in the art, the dancer, and then the musician would split. Um, mm. the profits mm-hmm. so we help form that bridge between dancer and musician they create a video uh, they just send us the file <laughs> and then we just pretty much help them go uh, talk about their nft we do ig live we're going to start to do twitter spaces because we find that's where nft artists are um, doing a lot of the networking um, yeah. which is very uh, effective versus traditional like instagram facebook yeah, so we'll probably be doing Twitter spaces, but we pretty much do. We, we hold the dancers and musicians hands as we go from having them meet, create this video. We grab their video. We'll put it up on our platform on the back end. We have like engineers, coders at the ready and all the creator has to do is market it. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, the, the creators will tell us, <clears throat> we'll give them a little bit of data and what's what's out there on the NFT space right now. Like what we see dancers pricing their NFTs at. And so we give like the creators this data and then the creators can decide for themselves. Okay. I want to do this many additions, whether they want to do an addition or not. Yeah. And then this is how I want to price it. This is how many days let's auction it. We just plug that all in. And then the creator pretty much doesn't front any money really other than like maybe paying your videographer, but we don't take anything at group time. We just, help them pretty much mint their video and get it up for sale, help them market it. Yeah. It, it takes a lot of co-marketing though. Like we, we only have our circle to market to, but the creators also have to be talking about their work. They have to introduce themselves to other artists so that they can get eyeballs on their work. Right? Yeah. So it's definitely um, a collaborative experience. <laughs> yeah, it, 